want to be, give a wee bit of a narrative. Yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. Tell us where we are. This is, this is, if you're ever going to fall in, this is the time that you're likely to do it. Launching and landing from the steps. Because invariably, some people, no matter how experienced they are, forget to do up their gates. Every now and again, you get somebody that's mischievous, that's been holding on at the steps, and they might loosen off your gate. This is me backing it just for a bit of nonsense. Down here, we have the tidal weir. If it wasn't for that, there'd be no development going as we know it. Boathouse, all well, its glory on a sunny day. Beautiful timber frame building, sitting perfectly in its surroundings. The edge of Glasgow Green, and the banks of the River Clyde. What could be better? What sunny day than simply messing about in the river? City and you can see the cityscape backdrop of all the bridges of the city centre, the newly refurbished cast iron structure of the Albert Bridge, which connects from the Salt Market with the Gorbals community. George, I'll get somebody up this evening. That's the Humane Society and George Parsons there. Long standing institution in the Banks of Clyde. Doing some sensitive work, encouraging safety on and around the watercourse. As we pass under St Andrew's Suspension Bridge. Very, very busy on the days when you can see a slight bow in the structure with a number of people on it. The suspension bridge to get a bit of movement or the bounce. And of course, about 500 metres upstream of the West Boat House. I'm just going to turn here. Is it? Here. I'd like to see it come into view as we turn. 
later East Gateway building, which currently occupied, currently occupied by Glasgow University in the east section, Glasgow Schools Rowing Club in the west section, small shed to one side, it's occupied by Strathclyde University. People know that there's rowing in Glasgow. And when you tell them that there is, they always ask where. And then when you tell them it's on the Clyde, there's a dawning realisation, of course. The other surprise is that there are in fact kilometre of each other. And that demonstrates just how, uh, how important this bit of water is to the rowing community in Scotland. With all those club options, there's no reason why it shouldn't be Sadly, our chorus isn't there to see us along, but you can see just over the, just the background, the back of the People's Palace and Winter Gardens. Gorgeous in the sunny weather. Some mature trees on the north bank, behind which we have Nelson's Monument. First monument built in honour Nelson after the Battle of Trafalgar. First monument built, uh, built by public subscription in honour of Nelson. Here, there we are in the river. In that monument there used to be a bandstand, an amphitheatre. Many of the public parks in Britain had more facilities. Sadly, a lot of that heritage has since been lost. And it's not just the historic buildings that have been lost, but it's also the memory of social history, events, demonstrations, and concerts. Resetting of the camera. It's a much needed makeup. I've been blethering away quite the thing. Perfect. Because I feel as if the camera and I have bonded. Yeah, exactly. It listens to me. It listens to me without interrupting. Well, I, I, ideally, um, we, it's quite bright. Yeah. And one thing this does have trouble with uh, is, can I just see where we are? Is that a screen on top? Or is that a, a, story a little bit of screen. 